Well, hello. This is Jimnism, Jim with Nerdery Channel, and for some time, people have asked me to make a airplane tutorial. So we will be doing that now. For making this plane, you will be needing Fin Tool. That is a tool I recommend, really, that you have. Uh, I also will be building this with wire mod. You can, of course, it make it uh, without wire mod, but I really recommend using um, or start to understand and use wire mod because it will uh, be beneficial in the long run. However, if you have a hard time to start with uh, wire mod, I recommend that you look at my uh, basic wire mod tutorials. However, we will just start now, and we will be beginning with spawning some wings. So, we are just going to spawn wings, roughly, that will represent this plane. And we want also a wing in the back, let's see here. Like that, and we want a body prop, so we will have a quite long body of this, like that, and we will start assembling the parts. We will now no glide this to that, that to that, and this to this. Now we will be placing our wings. Remember to use Shift E. Uh, you press Shift E and then you can align it in perfect angles with the fist gun. It's a very nice thing to remember to do. So you get it exact. It can be somewhat important that the wings get uh, in the same angles, otherwise we will have a very special plane. And this back fin here, make sure it's somewhat in the middle. And now we will also be spawning a little fin that will control um, so we not uh, f lose height when we're turning as much and also keep us on a straight path. I just right click no collide this for comfort. You can do as you like. And now all the basic plane parts are somewhat assembled in which way we will weld everything to our base prop. Just one single weld everything to that. And it should be sufficient. We also want wheels. Landing wheels. We'll just be placing this plane in a natural starting position, like that, and we shall angle it a bit downwards, like that. And this is basically how we want the plane to stand on the ground. So I will spawn three equally large wheel. Uh, for comfort, I just no collide is to anything. You can, of course, uh, make another sort of no collide if you know you will want to land on props. I don't know if you have a ship or something like that. We freeze it there and we will be. Placing this in position here, and the last wheel. 
Uh, now I will access uh, these wheels using the Niels Center Axis tools. You can of course make a regular axis, of course it's the same thing, it's just that the Niels uh, Axis Center tool will uh, place it will place the axis in middle inside the prop which means I place just anywhere in the prop like I just want the right side and I will have nice axis on that. That's a tool I also recommend but you know you can just do it with regular um, axis just to remember to uh, if you're doing it you want to make sure like if I take my tool you want to be sure that's exactly in the middle and that's smart up good for well now we will um, actually I notice people are building with ugly props so we will just first change the materials to something better let's see find out what something better can be I will try to resist the temptation of using rust and choose something more um, less trashy. Hmm. Now we are looking military and nice. And while we're talking about military, I can say that this map is called War Map version 5. How fitting. Now we want to go in and choose a vehicle we will sit on. <clears throat> I will just choose the regular airboat seat. So we're just going to have some save the collisions for it. Like that. And we're just going to weld it. Now we're going to go into <clears throat> ice. You might have noticed that WireMod have, uh, after an update, released this uh, weird menu, which makes um, that you have to favorite those tools you usually use uh, yourself. So, well, however, if you have not favor or favorized any stuff, um, the pod controller is also found under vehicle control tab. I just have this um, enormous amounts of favorites, so I don't need to search for them. It's quite practical, actually. Um, I'm think it's good with this new update. Well, spawn the pod controller, left clicking, then right click uh, <coughs> to link it to the vehicle and now we want to go to um, um, thrusters oh, oh, uh, I haven't favorized thrusters oh but that might be for the good um, okay physics um, force thruster I'm going to add this to favorites why don't I have thrust? Whatever. That might be <laughs> because I often use ACF. Um, <clears throat> and now we have the benefit of choosing nice um, models for thrusters. And we will be having some nice effect also. Well, we can. We will be having this plasma just. Um, the force, I don't know, maybe 500 or something like that. We will be just adjusting the force um, later. But these we will place in the middle for propulsion of the craft. And then we will have some steering stuff so we will have like 
one disc here on the outer edge of the wing and one disc here. And we also want a force here that can press the ship down and up. Um, hmm. For ground movement, we will spawn a little thruster there. So now we will be start spawning lots of gates and then the, they are located down in ships at gates and then gates. I have them in my favorites. Uh, also gates. We want Artemic gates and we want to have um, add gate, mm, lots of add gates. We want mm, we're just going to spawn them in a, like a micro map of how the thrusters are actually located on the ship. So here will be our add gates for the wings steering and here are the add gates for the propulsion thrusters and uh, here are the axis, uh, no, uh, add gate for the, you know, uh, pitch up and down thruster. And here are the add gate for ground steering. Now we're going to choose a smaller uh, model and we will be finding negate. Make sure that when we uh, add these th thrusters, Make sure that bidirectional was checked. Otherwise, you have to replace them with the bidirectional mm -hmm. bidirectional checked. Otherwise, the negate gate won't work. Negate gate for all of these. I think we will be see if we have to use them all that. And now we'll start connecting things up. This pitch up and down thruster will go to the adequate add gate. And on A, I want it to start steering upwards, which will be S, as this will force itself downwards. So, B we will connect to the negate gate, and negate we will be placing on W. And we're just going to check if it works. Let's scroll out so we can see it. So this is when we're pitching uh, forward, I'm pressing W. This is when we're pressing S, like that. And uh, for using the force, we will be selecting it to a nice thrusting key, shift. We all played lots of FPS games and therefore shift is a good button because, mm, well, you hold it quite often as you run quite often. That's my opinion. Now we will be connecting the steering on ground. And now we actually need to spawn some uh, numpad, numpad input. It is uncheck toggle. And now we are going to choose R. and T, because I want to use this on R and T. They're good buttons for it. So, the thruster is placed here. And that will be completely sensible to place the add on T and the negate on R. So check if it works. R T 
like that. Okay, um, I have removed those two gates that I was spawned, uh, wanted to spawn for connecting these thrusters to, but I removed them because I <laughs> realized that I don't want the backwards function and it's only that you need it, so I just removed them. Um, so you have to excuse me. Um, however, these are connected to this and this thruster to this. This means that when we press D, we want this to be activated. When we press A, we want this to be activated. When we press A, when we press D, we also want this negate to be activated, and when we press A, we want this negated version of these to be activated. So we'll check if we have made everything correctly. And we haven't. And well, that's because we haven't connected the piece to the negate gates. <laughs> that you also have to do. Like that, excellent. Now, now my friends, we will take out our fin tool to spawn some fins. So, we will be spawning a fin with an efficiency of 100. We will have lift by playing normal. And we will have no lift on this. And well, let's be checking if it works. I think the thrusters are a bit too weak, but they seem to not be. However, the ship is very unbalanced, but we can sort of fly. Now, what we are going to need to do to fix the rest of this is balancing up the whole aircraft as we fly very poorly. To do this we are going to choose to have less efficient winds, 50, in the forward and we first press reload to remove the old fin and left click to place the new, reload <laughs> to remove the old, left click to place the new. So We will be our ground movement is all too weak. So we will have thrusters um, in wire tab, of course. Thrusters, and we will have 800 for force maximum, 800 for ground movement. And I also think we can increase all thrusters to 800 actually. That's almost a doubling of it. Let's see here. You know, ground movement is too weak and we will fix this by the other way of increasing the force of thrusters. And that is, I know, the weight of these is 1. I change it to 2 and that means they are now um, much more efficient, not efficient enough. We will change it to 5. 8,000. Seriously, this ground control... Yes, finally! Okay, it's a bit too strong. Okay. Where we can already see that our Oh, right, I know what's got wrong. Um, this is it. When I placed the last fin, I placed it on no lift. We want lift by playing normal, so we are going to place new fins. And well, um, it's a lot about tweaking, and I will tweak this plane until it's a good flyer. But I can say it already now. Um, because this is basically the way how to make the airplane. So if you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel. And if this tutorial helped you, please like the video. And I will be hoping to see all of you that don't want to watch to the end. A nice day. 
and good building. Well, for all who remain to see the end tweaking of this, we will be making all the thrusters a bit more efficient. We are going to have a thrusting force of, I mean, I'm going to try to have it in 8000. We ten double it. That might be too much, but uh, you never know. We have very strong reaction. Um, we can see that the rollers are too powerful and we will need, be needing to load that to half like four and I actually think that the efficiency of the fin oh right, this fin I don't know if I placed a fin on it. Now it's a fin. We will be placing our plane on the ground. <laughs> and we will be seeing how we're flying now. So, activate the engines. Whoa. Okay, if you wonder what happened, I pressed R or T. I mean, these are very strong. And we, I actually think our forward propulsioning thrusters are a bit too weak. So we will be making those stronger. Otherwise, I think we're flying quite good. However, this, yeah, it's certainly that. And however, we will be seeing over the weight of this. 128, 96. You know what? We will be having 100 on each. The wings. This will be 50. And this base prop will be 250. No, 200. Like that. And we will be checking the weight of these which is one we want them to be five so they will be much, much more powerful and okay let's try out again feeling like real pilots okay activate the engine holding shift we're flying and we're, now we're flying much better we're not flying fantastically good we actually need to see over the force of this backwards fin we will be placing the weaker type 50 fin efficiency so now we can see that i have completely lost control um i don't know where i am It's hard to do f mm. to search the wrong of it if you don't have control of it. Let's just place it nicely on the ground like that. Maybe not. And we will be starting it properly. Or what? <clears throat> Why is one thruster missing? I mean, seriously. Okay, I'm going into weight. We're changing this to five as this one is also five. And you can notice I lowered the force of it a bit. And we're placing it on shift. And this one we are wiring to this add gate. 
there is the good part of having them wired up as a micro map of how the thrusters actually are located on the ship. As this is a very light plane with the thruster control, we will be trying to fix the problem by going to fin tool and have no lift. Reload left click right left click reload like that. And let's see how we're flying now. Hmm, much more stable. Not very stable, we're perhaps so Wow. We're flying very fast. We will be trying to fix this problem by going to wait. Plus two. We're also going to check the weight of the wheels. Whoa! <laughs> I am sorry for some confusion. We will be changing this to 40 and it should be more than enough. Always good to check weights. Mm, we will also, uh, we will just try to fly now and to see how we are flying. Maybe it was the wheels. Mm, sort of, but not completely. We still have a bit too fast aircraft and we were unstable. We will be Changing the efficiency of all the different to hundred again and see if it fixed the problem. Mm. As all our aircraft building in Jerry's mod, it's very much about tweaking. No matter if you're building a helicopter or if you're building a well an aircraft or whatever. It's very much about tweaking. So there is, uh, well, that's kind of the charm with building aircrafts in Gary's mod also, that you'll have to tweak lots of stuff. However, what's the problem with this aircraft, which we will tweak now, is the controlling thrusters are too strong. Whoa. So we will be going into wire thruster and we'll have a look at them 8000 hmm. i think 4000 is enough and for these i actually think 2000 is good okay We accidentally put one of our wheels in the hill. That's a very annoying problem. We will be trying to fix this with um, <coughs> hitting the landing wheels with main spherical. So they're actual spheres and not laggy wheels. As you could describe um, regular wheels as kind of uh, a cube, but with very many edges, like a T20 um, dice, uh, like a T20 dice. So uh, they're actually lagging a bit when they're hitting the ground very fast but now they're actual spheres. However, what we can see is that we will load the force of this thruster too and see how we have air stability now. Okay, we have it taken off and we are half stable, I must say. Um, I can most control this thing in the air 
our front wings are a bit too strong. So we will be trying to go into fin tool and placing a 50 on this again. When you are carrying le uh, not much weight, you can use the no lift wings, but if you have much weight on it, you might actually need the wings with lift. And now, I have a quite good functioning aircraft. It's quite stable. And it's, uh, well, it could do a sea fighter aircraft. And you know what? That's exactly what we will be making. We will be. Oops. Placing some turrets on it. Well, let's see. Like that. Mm. One bullet per shot is not damage. Delay. Bullet spread. Tracer. That's nice. Sound. We want to have floor turret. That's good. Okay. That's all personal tweaks. There we'll have a turret. And there we'll have a turret. And we will wire fire to our basic. Oops. No. That's wrong. We will be firing a mass one for both of them. We will also be making a nice, uh, well, protection screen, um, cockpit ish thing, windscreen. We will be searching for sheer. Yeah. Hmm. My spelling. Ha, huh, excellent. A shield. I don't know. I think it's from Counter Strike or something. I found it in my search one day. Like that. We will be no colliding this and shake the weights and it's okay. Like that. We just got to weld it. And now we will be trying our tweaked aircraft. For the looks, you might also want to have a rigid rope. Like that, in the middle of these, to the middle of this, to the middle of this, to the middle of this, whoops, that, and that's okay. So, now, we will be trying out our new aircraft. Okay, let's speed forward. Oops. <clears throat> that sucks. We will just be starting in the other direction. I have um, higher starting time with this aircraft than it would allow me to have. So, okay, we're just doing a loop and we're starting to fire. Oops. And well, I should now say thanks for watching and we have been making an excellent aircraft now and I hope you success in this tutorial and I hope that you have requested this tutorial that I think it was like four people or something like that. I hope that you find it helpful. 
Well, thanks for watching and we will be seeing again in another tutorial. Geomedism out.